Hey, do you know Wednesday is a big day because it is mm -hmm. National Margarita Day. <laughs> and here at Fox 32, we like to celebrate things a little early. So joining us to help us do just that is Tuco and Blondie General Manager Ethan Alderetti. You're general manager, you make drinks for Fox 32, you do it all. Huh? <laughs> and you're making the perfect margaritas the mo this morning. Oh, yes. So well, I find people tend to be happier to see me whenever I bring drinks. <laughs> yes, we're happy yes. anytime. But uh, Tammy was just saying tequila is one of her favorite things. When we were talking before we went on the air that everybody likes to make their margarita a little different. Mm -hmm. What's your secret over here? Um, well, we all use all fresh squeezed juices. Mm -hmm. um, and something that most people don't realize is in most sweet and sour mixes is a little bit of dehydrated egg white, but we use actual egg white. Okay. It kind of serves as a binding agent between the really? citrus and the sugar. Uh -huh. So no it doesn't idea. separate while you drink. Because I mean, you think about old fashioned drinks and you got like either the glass stir or the stirring right. straws to, because it's meant to be stirred. Right. Well, the egg white keeps you from having to do that. Also gives oh. it kind of a nice added texture. I did not know that. I will say that whenever I buy pre mixed things, I can taste, it doesn't taste yeah, as good. It doesn't taste right. as good. No. As fresh. Yeah. Well, so and you just can't replace like fresh, no. fresh squeezed juice. Okay. okay. Show us how, how to do it. How much Egg white are you talking about as you do this? Because I, um, would, so, I really wouldn't want to be a foamy protein drink either. <laughs> well, I mean, if if you look at this drink here, mm -hmm. it's it's just kind of one egg white for the well, drink. Well, don't look at it. Taste so, it, Tammy. I, I, am I allowed? You're allowed. Ab okay. Absolutely. Well, as you're mixing, what mm -hmm. are these three different types? You have a three up here. So starting on the left, um, we've got the classic margarita. Here's the black cherry, and then this oh. is our signature mezcal. Okay, which wow. one do you want? Oh, um, I you. Pick one closest to you, and he's going to walk us through while I grab another one. Okay. How's that? You know what? This is your signature. I love okay. always to try the signature drink. So you walk us through it. And <laughs> okay, look yes. at this. It's got the cutest little kitty cat stir stick. <laughs> okay, so what are we starting with? All right, so we're starting with the classic, and that's going to have 100% um, agave piedra azul tequila. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the brand, right? Okay. Um, and um, that's a particular brand you like for what oh, reason? Yes. Well, I mean, it's, it's a great, very smooth tequila, 100%. Mm -hmm. I mean, some people have different tastes. You don't right. necessarily always have to have the most expensive tequila sure, to sure. make the best because margarita. Because you're mixing all this other stuff, But you right? definitely want 100% um, agave because some of the other mixed tequilas just are not, they're a little bit more harsh. Like whenever you think of like a bad tequila experience, mm -hmm. it's usually whenever it's oh. not quite as high quality. Okay, so what next then? Um, so next with just a little bit of agave syrup. Okay, I love agave syrup there. Okay. Now, how much tequila did you put in? Uh, an ounce and a half, so okay. a shot. Okay. How would that taste, by the way, Tammy? The, I, I was going to say this is amazing. I yeah. wanted to comment on their signature drink later, <laughs> but I wanted to watch him make yeah. this. And, and then so a quarter ounce of Cointreau or really orange, any orange liqueur. Mm -hmm. um, you can do triple sec. Okay. Um, for like darker tequilas, I recommend using Grand Marnier. It kind of gives that added depth of flavor, a little right. bit of woodiness. Well, you have quite a few things that you put in your margarita. Whenever I've and tried to make them at home, it's usually just two or three. But this That's is, why we go out. To yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> That's why we yeah. go there. Okay, what did you just throw in there? Uh, so just some fresh squeezed lime juice. Okay, okay. and now what are you doing with this egg? I'm going to add the egg white. Wow, so okay. Now, some people are nervous to do anything with an egg with, that hasn't been cooked, but um, not to worry? No, not to worry at yeah. all. The yeah, the alcohol okay. will kill everything. That's yeah. true, right? And, and we're actually, we're just doing the egg white. Just the we're egg not, white, not the yolk. Because nobody okay. wants a yolky drink. Uh -uh. Oh, <laughs> and then, so whenever you're using an egg white, it's best whenever you're shaking it uh -huh. to shake it without ice first to oh. kind of integrate it into the drink. Okay. Because if you start freeze. it off with, well, if you put it with the ice first, then it'll just kind of like break apart the egg white. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow, okay. So Now, is, this is not one of your signature drinks, right? This is well, this, this is our, our classic, just kind of your, your classic okay. margarita on the That's rocks. That's like this one right here. Yes. So he, okay. And you're getting the, the, the glass ready for us here. You a put a little bit of, bit of a lime on there. I like to put sugar on my rim. That's what we did in Texas. We See? always put sugar on our See, rims. I like, you know what, yeah. I, don't li I like it on the rocks and I um, like some salt. Now tell me, what is on the okay, rim of this. of this, which is your signature drink? So this is tahine. Um, it's going to be a kind of a lime chili salt. Um, so it's it. got a little bit of spice, which goes really well with Yum. the mezcal. Um, so the mezcal is also made with a little bit of fresh squeezed orange juice, and it's typically garnished with. This is really nice, by the way. Now, this one, Sylvia, try this one. Okay. I, I didn't, but this is okay. our black cherry one, and because you like sweet, this one I might do. be. I do. Okay. Mmm. And you can never go I can wrong. I honestly say with I like all of them. Brandied yeah. cherry garnish. Okay. Oh. Now we have to say something before you go, though. Okay, everybody, you need to know this because yesterday I was out at lunch, mm -hmm. trying to find a place outside to eat. I understand you guys have a gorgeous patio, and it's open today. Yes. Um, so once we saw the forecast for this weekend, we kind of made a really? rush to get our patio furniture all out of storage and set up. How about and it? Tell so, everybody uh, where to go. Here's the website yeah. coming up, and tell everybody where to go. Um, so we're going to 3358 mm -hmm. North Southport. It's just off the Southport Brown Line stop. Mm -hmm. It's kind of right on the corner, southwest corner of. Oh. Roscoe and Southport. Well, you know what? The best thing is, is Wednesday, National to, uh, Margarita Day, it's mm -hmm. going to be beautiful weather in the 60s, so you better have that patio ready to go again. Well, and the perfect thing to kind of break up your week. Yep. But head out to Tuco and Blondie <laughs> because you're open for business outdoors today, so it, nice thing to enjoy, right? Let's do a cheers, and then I'm going to do oh. the weather, and then okay. you guys can cheers. continue Cheers. Come on, get in here. Yes. Thank cheers. you. Cheers. <laughs>